A small group of students from Duke University in North Carolina, USA have built the world's fastest electric monowheel bike called the EV360, which has been specifically designed to exceed speeds of 70 miles per hour in preparation for setting a new Guinness world record. A monowheel bike is a ring usually driven by smaller wheels pressing against its inner rim, with the rider sitting inside the main wheel, but it's inherently unstable. Its one wheel design prevents a monowheel from being able to steer easily or accelerate or brake quickly. So it's no surprise it hasn't been adopted as a mainstream form of transportation. But what is surprising is that monowheels have been around since the 1800s and have gone through hundreds of designs and prototypes since then. But the students at Duke University are not making just another monowheel. They are making the world's fastest electric monowheel for the sole purpose for setting a new Guinness world record. Now I know I already stated that fact at the start of this video, but it's come to my notice that some people seem to overlook the point of some of my stories. So I just wanted to restate the purpose of this monowheel. Think of this monowheel as building a jet powered rocket car designed and made for the sole purpose of setting a new land speed record. It was made with that one goal in mind. Carlo Lidner is one of the students of the monowheel team that reached out to me to tell their story. He told me, We tackled this project for the sake of the challenge alone. There is no handbook for how to build a monowheel, and documentation of previous builds is quite scarce, which forced us to really think outside the box throughout the whole design process. Since we were a team of four Duke University students, this was a highly productive way for us to learn and really push our boundaries. The EV360 is also one of the first electric monowheels out there, which makes this project even more unique. Now monowheels may look like some kind of futuristic motorbike, but they are really unstable. So much so, Carlo even sent me a crash compilation video showing just how unstable they are. Now before you ask, why did they not put on some kind of bike stabilisation technology, such as the new Honda self-stabilisation on their new prototype motorbikes, which I actually did specifically ask Carlo about, well he told me that technology relies on a two-wheel system, so it would not work. But he did say, there is some mono-wheel stabilisation in development, but the gyroscope takes up nearly all of the space in the mono-wheel, which is why such a system is nearly impossible to be integrated alongside a human rider. We certainly did try to integrate a gyroscope into the EV360, but the math unfortunately doesn't work out, but maybe in the future. Now I myself have been aware of another monowheel motorbike with stabilisation on it for a few years now, called the Rhino from Christopher Hoffman. But like Carlo suggests, it has a huge hub in the wheel, which I assume is mostly filled with the gyroscope and motor. The majority of the funding for this project came from various departments of Duke University, including the Pratt School of Engineering, the Innovation Co-Lab, and the Smart Home. Nonetheless, the students still had to invest their own personal savings into the monowheel project, during times where funding ran dry. Now in case you were wondering like I was, the wheel on the EV360 is not a real pneumatic tyre. It's actually a steel pipe with a diameter of 5 feet that uses segments of bicycle tyres riveted onto the pipe for traction. One last point I want to touch on which Carlo brought to my attention 
In all of the footage, you will see the rider of the monowheel has his feet on the ground. Dragging the feet while riding a normal motorbike is a common mistake motorcyclists make when they first start riding. So many people see this as an error while riding a monowheel. However, applying pressure with your feet helps steer the monowheel more accurately than leaning could, so it is necessary. It also helps stabilize the frame's rotation, especially when slowing down. Now the team were all set to attempt the world record late 2020. They had the approval from the Guinness World Record team to attempt it, and they only had to surpass the speed of 45 miles per hour to beat it. But unfortunately, the virus lockdowns delayed the attempt. But since the monowheel is able to reach speeds of up to 72 miles per hour, surpassing 45 miles per hour for the world record, it will be all about the driver developing the skills to ride it that fast. And as you saw in the crash compilation, there was a lot more to it than riding fast in a straight line. It's unfortunate I was not able to complete this video showing the world record speed run of the bike. But since the bike is able to achieve the speeds necessary to beat the current record, it's just a matter of time and practice to achieve it which I have no doubt they will. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.